Hi everyone, it's me Gaming Do, and today I'm sort of to continue last year, or not last year, well technically last year, yeah, the video of my worst to best films of 2017, why don't we go ahead and look at my top 10 most anticipated films of 2018, the films I am looking forward to the most, and yeah, let's get started. Coming in at number 10 is Early Man. Now, Early Man, for me, is going to be great. Why? Because Ardman Studios, which is the creator of Chicken Run and Wallace and Gromit, is going to be making it. Now... These guys are masters in animation. They have. They're very talented British animators, and. Chicken Run is probably in my top 25 favorite animated movies of all time. Because that was a really, 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 really good movie. Chicken Run was. It just had such a great escape plan story and stuff like that. It was great. Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit was pretty good too. And then I didn't really like Arthur Christmas or Pirates Band of Misfits that much. But this film looks like it's going to be as good as those two. And that's why it is my number 10. Coming in at number 9 is Black Panther. Black Panther for me just is going to be unique is going to be a very unique Marvel Studios film it's going to be like none other thus far it's going to be I thought originally this was going to be like the most jungle like movie and like yet but it seems like there's going to be like car chases in this movie and stuff like that and that actually got me excited for this movie and the fact that they got many great actors like Michael B. Jordan and obviously Black Panther's uh, actor, which I cannot describe your name, buddy. I am sorry, but um, I am very excited for this film. It looks so unique, and that's why it comes in at my number nine spot. Coming in at number eight is Solo, A Star Wars Story. This is going to be the Star Wars movie of 2018. And it's basically going to be about Han Solo and his own solo movie. Get it? <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Oh, shut up. Um, but anyways, this movie, Han Solo is probably one of my favorite Star Wars characters. So him getting his own movie... Is just amazing. This is probably going to show how he meets Chewbacca. How he gets the Millennium Falcon. And I'd love to see that. This is probably... I didn't really anticipate The Last Jedi and Rogue One that much. But I kind of do anticipate this movie. And that's why Solo A Star Wars Story comes in at number 8. Coming in at number 7 is Ready Player One. This is really the last film where I'd say I don't mind skipping seeing this movie in theaters. From number six on, I'd like to actually go to the movies to see them. But this film just looks so damn creative. Hold on a sec. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I just burped, but oh well. Um... I'm just looking forward to this movie so much because it looks so creative. It's going to have like a bunch of characters from like video game characters and Freddy Krueger and stuff like that. It looks so awesome and it's going to be directed by Steven Spielberg who is one of the best directors in all of Hollywood. Which makes me excited for Ready Player One which is my number seven on this list. Coming in at number six... Is going to be the Venom movie. Which comes out at the end of the year. This is where I want to go start to see the movies in theaters. Venom. 
is my favorite Spider-Man villain. And the fact that he's getting his own movie just makes me so damn pumped it's not even funny. And it's coming out this year. Oh my god, Venom's getting his own movie. That is just... And the voice actor for Bane from The Dark Knight Rises is going to be playing him, Tom Hardy. This could be such a phenomenal movie. But what I want to see in this movie, and I don't know if this is going to happen or not, I would love to see Tom Holland's Spider-Man in this movie. Have sort of... Spider-Man Homecoming and his parts in Civil War were kind of lighthearted. Make this like the first sort of darker appearance of Tom Holland. Make this a darker movie, but still have Tom Holland in it. Like, I don't know, have this from Venom's perspective and maybe Spider-Man is the main antagonist. Spider-Man is the actual villain of the movie. That would be a really good idea. And that's why Venom is my number six. Coming in at number five is probably a film I am saving my AMC gift card to see, which I got for Christmas from my friend, and yeah. This is a film I really, really, really want to see, and it's just, it looks like such a creative animated movie that I'm actually saving my money to go see it. This is the first film I want to actually see in the theaters in 2017 in terms of release date. That is Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dog. First off, I am a dog fanatic. I love dogs with all my heart. They are such great animals in my opinion. I have three of my own, so of course I love dogs and I love them. I love all three of them with all my heart. They're like, they're family. But this film just looks so creative, it's not even funny. These dogs are going to be on an adventure on this garbage island, basically. And it looks, it just looks so creative, in my opinion. And it's by the same director who made Fantastic Mr. Fox, which was actually a really good movie, in my opinion. And... Wes Anderson is going to direct this film, and yeah, I can't believe how good this film looks. I'm really excited. Like I said, I'm going to spend my AMC gift card probably going to see this movie. Coming in at number four is Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. This is probably going to be the emoji movie done right. Like, they're going to parody sort of the internet and stuff like that and they're not going to make it stupid because Disney is going to make it. Wreck-It Ralph 2, I got a feeling, might even be better than the original. And the original was a good... The original was probably one of Disney's best films in my opinion and this is just going to continue that. This was the film in my opinion that brought Disney back. Not Tangled, it was this, in my opinion, that brought Disney into its second renaissance. This is such a... The, I, I can, words can't describe how excited I am for this film. I was obsessed with this film when I was 11, I think, when this film first came out. I was obsessed with this film, man. I'm excited to see the sequel, which comes out at the end of the year. Coming in at number three is Avengers Infinity War. Of course. Who, who wouldn't have this in their top ten? Not me. This is, of course, in my top ten. Obviously. Avengers Infinity War... I got a feeling is going to be one of the most intense Marvel movie to date. This is going to be Thanos' big movie, which we have been waiting since 2012 to see this guy. And now, six years later, we're finally going to get to see this guy wreak havoc on the big screen. Not only that, but I'm excited for a bunch of stuff. There's going to be... The Guardians of the Galaxy are going to meet the Avengers. Um... 
Spider-Man is going to get the Iron Spider upgrade. Um, this movie looks like it's going to be dramatic. Oh my god, am I excited for Avengers Infinity War. And I want to see this film in IMAX 3D. Oh my god, that would be my dream to see this in IMAX. This looks like it's going to be such a good film. Holy moly, and such an action-oriented film. I'm excited for Avengers Infinity War. Alright, coming in at number two is The Incredibles 2. Um, I actually didn't really adore the first Incredibles until extremely recently. Like... 2015 or something when I watched it then I was like this is actually a really damn good movie and that's what gets me excited for this sequel we're finally getting a Pixar sequel that we want and this is gonna be the best Pixar sequel since Toy Story 3 which I thought was okay but this may be no probably the best Pixar sequel since Toy Story 2 and that came out almost 20 years ago. This film is going to be such a great film. And apparently it's going to be the opposite of the last film where Mrs. Incredible is going to be the main protagonist of this film. And Mr. Incredible is going to be at home in this film, which kind of sucks because I love Mr. Incredible. But Mrs. Incredible could be really cool in this film. I'm just excited about this film, and it's it's going to be great. But my number one most anticipated film of 2018, while well, you see it right now, is a film, is a film, the first film came out in 2016, and it was my second favorite film of that year. Without further ado, number one is Deadpool 2. This film sounds like it's going to be better than the original just because they're going to have Cable in that film. And Cable is one of the best X-Men, like, ever. Holy moly, I love Cable. He's such a freaking badass. And th th this movie apparently looks like it's going to be funnier than the original, too. Bob Ross is the teaser trailer for this film. My God. And I don't even know when this film is going to be released. It says June 1st, but they barely had anything revealed about this movie. And it's it's only like four and a half, five months until the movie's released. So they got to get some shit out for this movie soon. That being said, Deadpool 2 is going to be an amazing movie, and I am so excited for it. I'm excited because I'm a huge Deadpool fan. I have been for years. And this film looks like it's going to continue the greatness of Deadpool 1. Oh my god, I am so excited for this film, and that's why Deadpool 2 is my number one most anticipated film of 2018. And now, we have some honorable mentions. The honorable mentions are Ant-Man and the Wasp, Aquaman... What the... And the New Mutants. So it's Ant-Man and the Wasp, Aquaman, and the New Mutants are my honorable mentions. But that's it, guys. Gaming to here. See you later. Let me know in the comments section below which film are you looking forward to the most in 2018. And yeah, gaming do here. See you later. Bye.